Please be advised that this recorded webinar has been edited from its original format, which may have included a product demo. To set up a live demo or to request more information, please complete the form to the right. Or if you are currently not on CSC Global, there is a link to the website in the description of this video. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar, Doing Business Internationally, the Netherlands. My name is Christy DeMeo Ziegler and I will be your moderator. Joining me today is our host, Helena Ledick, an Associate General Counsel for CSC in the Chicago office. Helena? Thank you so much, Christy. Um, I'm delighted to be speaking to everyone with the audience and I'm very, very pleased to introduce you to our two speakers. We have Veronica Gunther. She is the Executive Director of the Corporate and Legal Solutions for um, CSC in the Netherlands. Hi, greetings from the Netherlands. Um, thank you so much. I'm, I'm very delighted to be part of this uh, conversation, and I very much look forward to talk about the talking points. Very good. And then our other speaker today is Arno Vink. And Arno is um, at CSC. Um, he is a service leader in the Global Capital Markets Group, and he is an EMEA specialist. Arno? Thank you very much, uh, Helena, and thank you for having me on this uh, interesting webinar. Uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to tell you a little bit more about what the Netherlands can offer. So let's talk today about our Netherlands agenda. First, we'll learn a little bit about CSC, and then we'll get into why the Netherlands. We'll learn about some of the legal and regulatory considerations, considerations and pitfalls to avoid, and of course, how CSC can help you doing business in the Netherlands. For more than 120 years, CSC has been the partner of choice for companies around the globe, trusted to handle everything from incorporating a company through maintaining compliance to corporate transaction work, protecting digital assets from the threats of the online world, and everything in between. We offer the solutions and technology that keep businesses running in the background, allowing clients to focus on the important work of growing their business. CSE has offices and capabilities in more than 140 jurisdictions across Europe, the Americas, Asia Pacific, and the Middle East. We're a global company capable of doing business wherever our clients are, and we accomplish that by employing local experts such as Veronica and Arno in every business we serve. Let's learn a little bit about the Netherlands first. The Netherlands is located within the heart of Europe and is the sixth largest economy in the Eurozone. It's known for its very stable business climate and commitment to environmentalism and sustainability. The Netherlands has attracted many corporations to set up their headquarters and it's used as a hub to expand through Europe. Specifically, the Netherlands is home to the European Medicines Agency and has attracted more than 3,100 life sciences and 420 biopharma companies. Even though the Netherlands is actually smaller in size than the state of West Virginia, it, ha it has a thriving, thriving agricultural export business, and it's second only behind the United States due to its fertile soil, optimal climate, and advanced practices such as vertical farming. In fact, 15 of the top 20 agri-food companies have established major production or R&D operations in the Netherlands. Beyond agriculture, the other main industries in the Netherlands are in petroleum refining, chemicals, and of course, financial services. So Veronica, can you tell us some of the critical reasons for doing business in the Netherlands? Well, we can proudly say that we have an amazing pro-business climate. Being ranked first for trading across borders in the World's Bank ease of doing business support and 24th for starting a business. 
to highlight another upside is that in the Netherlands, it only takes around three and a half days and about four procedures to set up your business. Would you ever expect that this is significantly lower than the OECD average? Another teaser why the Netherlands is attractive to do business is that we have a highly skilled multilingual workforce. At least 90% of the Dutch population is fluent in English. The country ranked first out of 100 countries on the EF English Provincy Index 2020. In Amsterdam, English can be used as a means of communication. However, you must know most, pu most publications and administrative documents are to be done in Dutch. Having said that, we cover both worlds. To continue with that, you could uh, consider your, uh, the Netherlands as Europe's top logistic hub. Just think about Amsterdam Airport Schiphol or Rotterdam being Europe's largest seaport and the world's 10th largest. We are rated second in the world for logistics performance by the World Bank due to our central position as a European gateway and our excellent logistics infrastructure. Another strong argument is our broadband, our high, highest broadband in the world position. That means that at least 99% of the Dutch households are connected to digital telecom networks offering one of the world's fastest average broadband speeds. Amsterdam is a key connection point in terms of service within Europe. To continue with even another strong point uh, why the Netherlands is so uh, positive is that there's a strong focus on sustainability. You know, it's, it's one of the, the largest offshore wind farms uh, and the largest floating solar energy parks in Europe. Um, the Dutch government is also committed to providing 50% of electricity through the renewable sources um, by 2025 through means like wind and solar power. And to conclude, the Port of Rotterdam is working with businesses to produce sustainable biofuels. Finally, it's, the Netherlands has a very stable macro environment. It has a stable political and social climate. Uh, the Netherlands is also considered a highly reputable country and is ranked eighth on the Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index with a score of 80 in 2022. The Netherlands has a well-developed and solid regulatory and legal framework. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about doing business in the Netherlands, what we need to know. And Arno and Veronica will walk us through the nature of activities, knowing about the legal and regulatory framework, the investment strategy, and of course, finding the right local partner. So Veronica, why don't you tell us about some of the key takeaways now to doing business in the Netherlands? Two, take, two uh, key takeaways I would like to address uh, today is considering the nature of activities, but also being aware of the local regulatory framework. Um, you must know that our team in the Netherlands includes experts specializing in administration services dedicated to servicing multinational, but also private equity and real estate clients. We can help corporate clients looking to expand into this exciting economy with a full suite of services from our office in Amsterdam. You must know it's our bread and butter. We've talked about how we assist clients to navigate well. Um, well, an important takeaway we like to share is that the Dutch legal entities are subject to the Dutch Civil Code, so-called Book 2 but also to the EU AML directives. In addition, administration, director, or domiciliation services are subject to the Act on Supervision of Trust Offices. In Dutch, we call it BTT. Um, as a corporate service provider, we have the license to operate on the su supervision of the Dutch Central Bank. Uh, furthermore, we have lots of experience with business registration. Um, think about registrations with the Dutch Chamber of Commerce and tax authorities where we have local understanding and very easy connection. In all, we have the skill set and knowledge to support you. In addition to that, um, a third element I'd like to highlight is that you obviously need to know your investment strategy. 
As Veronica mentioned, we provide a wide range of financial and administrative services to clients operating and investing in the international business environment. So we support companies to expand globally, uh, and we offer support with their restructurings, uh, outsourcings. Um, maybe they want to attract funding on the capital markets and further developments. So we are the experts in management and administration services, not only to holding and finance structures, but also to operational companies across the globe. So we can help you with identifying the appropriate investment strategy by navigating our clients to choose the right legal structure. For example, foundations, uh, limited liability companies, fund structures, orphan structures, uh, etc. So there's a lot of legal structures to choose from, and you need to be considerate uh, about the right structure. We also understand tax obligations in the Netherlands very well, so that's, that's also a very important uh, item to, 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 to keep in mind. We also keep up to date with employment regulations. Um, there are a lot of operational companies where it's very necessary to make sure that you're compliant with those regulations. In addition, the Netherlands has a very extensive network of over 120 bilateral tax treaties. So our corporate uh, uh, teams are very well equipped to help you out uh, uh, there in determining the appropriate strategy in consultation and cooperation, obviously, with the specialist uh, advisors, uh, such as tax and legal advisors. Um, Finally, uh, there are several tax incentives for R&D activities in information technology, biotechnology, and environmental technology, which might be very interesting for clients uh, to consider as well while entering the Netherlands. Then let me, if you allow me to uh, touch upon uh, a fourth element uh, um, t t um, for a key consideration, that is uh, finding the right uh, partners. So. You know, despite the country's open economy and business-friendly climate, newcomers may find the Netherlands tax and legal system difficult to navigate. So before entering the Dutch market, foreign investors should rely on professional advice to understand these complex matters. So working with trusted local partners is very essential, therefore. Um, two other points uh, th uh, on that, on that uh, uh, item. You know, there are some specific requirements um, for licenses, such as license activities. One example there is escrow services. Um, Intertrust uh, and CSC are both uh, uh, active in that, in that uh, business, and uh, you, you would need a PSD2 license to operate uh, escrow services. Another example is depository services which is um, um, licensed by the AFM under the AIFMD framework. Um, another example there is securitization, uh, which is subject to EU securitization regulation, uh, whereby also uh, uh, the AFM, the Authority for Financial Markets in the Netherlands, is getting involved in, in the approval process. So those are very important uh, uh, aspects to bear in mind. Now that Arno and Veronica have walked us through some of the key considerations for doing business in the Netherlands and some of the things that we need to know, now let's talk about how CSC can help you. So Arno, why don't you get us started off with um, telling us how CSC can help our clients and our customers in the Netherlands. Thank you. I certainly will. So at CSC, we strongly believe in building long-term fruitful partnerships with our clients. Um, in doing that, we take a proactive approach, uh, are responsive, apply high ethical standards, are honest and transparent in our communication, and we really focus on finding solutions uh, and getting things done. As a professional service provider, we strive to deliver high-quality services to our clients and the legal entities involved in a transaction. Typically, a client first engages with professional advisors. However, we are very keen to get involved in an early stage to ensure we can add value during the setup phase of a transaction, given our extensive experience. 
We provide the full suite of management and administration services during the life cycle of a transaction in close cooperation with our client and its advisors. Our experts always aim to provide tailored solutions to complex transactions. Zooming in on the services a little bit, it goes from entity formation to entity management and administration to termination and entity liquidation. In addition to these basic ingredients of our service delivery, we have a wide range of bespoke services we can offer, which ranges from fund solutions, depository services, to capital market services. Yes, Arno, I love the, how you refer to the life cycle of the, of the client entities that we service. And I must say that from a client service delivery perspective, we provide end-to-end -end services. Think about uh, entity formation, where we provide the clients with uh, formation and implementation of their structure in the Netherlands, but also the opening of a bank account, domiciliation and management services, all things that we help our clients to take away administrative burden. In addition, um, we also look at entity management and administration. That's the core of the Dutch structure, structure where we provide corporate accounting and reporting. But also think about uh, not the so much typical holding finance structures, but also the operational entities that we look after. Uh, those could be clients to, who do have a Dutch company in the Netherlands with employees on the payroll. We provide the clients with the payroll services. So we are really a one-stop shop. Um, in addition, we also look after tax uh, compliance services where we help our clients to assist with withholding tax filings, VAT returns, uh, assistance with country-by-country -country reporting, all things to uh, help the clients to navigate and for them to flourish their business. Yeah, thank you, uh, Veronica. And as, as mentioned before, in addition to these uh, core services, I would say uh, we have uh, expertise in a couple of uh, specialist uh, areas. For example, in looking at the capital markets uh, services, uh, just, to, just to name out an example there, uh, on the loan administration, loan agency uh, slash facility agent uh, uh, space, uh, typically, those uh, roles or those uh, services are being provided by uh, the major banks uh, active in a, in a, for example, in a syndicate, uh, syndicated loan. Um, there's a tendency that uh, there's a need, uh, an increased need for uh, an independent third party to take up that role for various number of reasons, which I won't go into detail uh, now. But this is a perfect. Uh, area where we can chip in um, and, uh, you know, leveraging our expertise in the administration and reporting area and also apply that to the uh, facility agent loan administration space. And in, a, in the Netherlands, we leverage uh, a global operating model that we have in place uh, for this specific service. So uh, it's a perfect example. Uh, another example maybe to, to, to briefly touch upon is the trustee services. So looking at uh, security trustee, uh, that is a very specific type of service whereby we are representing bondholders, note holders, investors in, in the market, in the capital markets, um, to safeguard their interest and uh, you know, to make sure that um, the uh, transaction uh, operates in accordance with transaction documentation and to make sure that uh, the interest of those investors are safeguarded. So it's a very, very, very specific uh, type of service uh, that we uh, can offer and um, uh, have an excellent uh, track record on. Uh, moving over to the fund solutions area, um, there's a bespoke team uh, in, in the Amsterdam office Focusing on you know all, all of the all of the aspects that come with fund administration and accounting, uh, which also includes uh, investor reporting, uh, uh, calculations of net asset value, uh, making sure the fund is is compliant. Um, so that there's a lot of uh, uh, very bespoke uh, uh, elements there, and typically investors appreciate uh, the administration of a fund to be you know. Uh, separate from from the fund manager that is that is managing the fund, uh, 
it's a segregation of duties, and uh, that that's that's uh, that's uh, uh, an area that we that we uh, um, have a, a good track record in and can really help uh, our clients with. Then maybe to conclude, there's a final uh, uh, item I'd like to touch upon that is uh, the post three services, which is um, derived from the AIFMD regulation um, that was uh, imposed on the market following uh, the Madoff scandal, which uh, happened in the U.S., and uh, a new regulation was imposed uh, to have additional layer of oversight on the operation of a fund. Uh, and, uh, you know, a fund manager is uh, required to appoint um, above certain thresholds to appoint a depository, which is a, a, a very uh, a comparable to uh, an audit type of, of function whereby uh, the depository is looking after um, uh, a lot of oversight uh, activities, is managing uh, uh, cash flow, is, is, is verifying cash flows, uh, et cetera. So um, that is, that is uh, another good example of where we can chip in and we have a dedicated specialized team that can help clients uh, to meet those uh, requirements. So, Veronica, we have been speaking so much about the Netherlands, but why don't you tell us a little bit about CSC's global coverage? Yes, of course. Thank you, Helena. And I'm, I'm thrilled to, to say that what we consi consider being the crown jewel of CSC is our GSM proposition. What does this entail? So, GSM stands for Global Subsidiary Management. And CSC has the great... Uh, distinct advantage when it comes to servicing our clients where they are. We have regional hubs around the globe with in-country experts who understand the ins and outs of various jurisdictions. So you will work with a dedicated service team in your time zone, fulfilling all service needs. So in all, our team is wherever you need us to be. As you have learned today from Veronica, and Arno. CSE is the business behind business. As you can see from our solutions listed here, we're the partner of choice for global companies needing expertise in business administration and compliance, fund solutions, transactions and lending, capital markets, and domain security and brand protection. Whatever your company needs to stay in compliance, transact business, or become secure against threats of the online world, the CSC experts can help you.